G'day guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, trying to get a weekly video up um, it was often as, free, as often as I can. Um, I just wanted to share with you a haul, as the title suggests. Um, went to the Adelaide Mega Toy Fair that happens once every year, um, usually on the last weekend of May, first weekend of June. Um, so it happened really well. For once, I was able to go with a decent amount of money. So I put some money aside for this over a few weeks. And I was just absolutely stoked with what I was able to get. I didn't even spend all the money I'd set aside for this, so I can afford to eat for this week as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, just sort of run through with what run through with you guys with what I got. First of all, got the Jab of the Huts dancers. I got it for fifteen. I talked the lady down to fifteen dollars. Um, she's had it, had the same set sitting there for probably the last couple of years and hasn't been able to sell it. And yeah, she was quite happy to give it to me for $15. So glad to finally have this set. Um, yeah, going to crack it open afterwards. So really happy to grab that. Another figure I've got carded. Finally got Hermiodal. Really impressed with this guy. Can't wait to open him up. Got him for $19, which not too bad. Not too bad at all. I was quite happy about that. Another one carded lot I got was Rombert and Grark. Two more Ewoks. So I'm starting to fill my Ewok collection up a bit. I think there's only three more I need. So very happy to finally have these guys. I got that. Um, another seller had this for 20 bucks. So I managed to score it for 15 So not too bad at all. Quite happy with that. Now, the rest of it's pretty much is all loose figures. Um, mainly aimed at trying to fill a few holes in the collection and get a few figures that are just I've bypassed over the years and haven't been able to get. And I also got some really good ones. First one I got was Aunt Baru. And she come with this little droid. I can't think of its name now. It'll probably come to me once I stop recording. So really happy to add those two. I still need uh, the old Uncle Owen to go with it. Another one, I picked this up for $5. This is Major Bren Derlin. So another, another good uh, Hoth guy to have in my Hoth scene or in my Hoth display. So Pretty happy to score him for a reasonable price. Also got this guy. I can never remember which one's which. I think this is Tanis Spijek. Or it's the other one. I can't remember. I know I've got the other one. So I just it's just their names muddle up in my head. So can't remember how much I paid for most of the rest of these loose figures. Um, could probably work it out. But I basically bought a couple of, couple of bunches of loose figures. So... Very happy to finally get that guy. Finally was able to get uh, Princess Leia in Boosh Disguise. This is the most recent one. So definitely in need of an upgrade still, but it's still good for its, for its age. I can't remember what year it is off the top of my head. It's still finally, still happy to finally have Boosh. Or Bausch, however you want to say it. Um, managed to get Gazgano and his pit droid. So it's starting to starting to complete my pod races. I think I need Mars Guo and Dud Bolt. I think they're the last ones I need now. So these are these are nineteen ninety nine figures. So. But they haven't re-released them since, I don't believe. So it's good to good to finally get them them too. Also, finally got Sabulba. No, I'm not sure if this is the original one or not. Two thousand. So yeah, it's probably probably in that initial Phantom Menace line. So it's good to finally have a Sabulba in my collection. It's just it's been one that I haven't been able to grab for years so um, 
Um, finally got a Revenge of the Sith Commander Bly. This is the first sort of uh, real commander I've got, apart from Cody and Gree. Um, I was tempted to tri tempted to pick up, I think it was Thyre and Commander Ville, but another day I just really wanted to get a Commander Bly. Now I've given him a better rifle than the one he came with. So he's a very cool figure, really happy with him. Also got, hang on, Yare Poof. He's a really cool figure. Really, just comical looking. I just, it just, he just makes me think. Every time I see him, I think of that sketch from Robot Chicken where the council makes him go out and get pizza, and Yoda won't let him borrow her car. I just think that's hilarious. I'm not sold on the lightsaber. I may swap that out for a better lightsaber. I just not sold the fact that they just reused the Macquarie Stormtrooper lightsaber. I think it's just a little bit... Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't doesn't fit in with the rest of the figures, so I'll probably swap that out for another blue lightsaber. I know I've got plenty of spares. To get another addition to my cantina, I was able to get Kitik Kidkak. <laughs> Finally got the Grasshopper Man. <clears throat> so, and I've been wanting to finished my cantina for quite a while now and I've been talking about it for a long time and I'm finally starting to fill in the holes I think I've got three or four figures to get so I'll try and track them down in good time so really glad to get this guy finally he's, he's just really strange I think I've got a good diverse bunch of figures here um, now this guy I got for five bucks and I'm absolutely stoked the comic pack version of Grand Admiral Thrawn I do have the Power of the Force version, but it's great to have this up, updated Thrawn because he's just such a cool looking figure. Um, and I've had his comic book counterpart that came in the comic pack with him, Talon Card, I've had him for quite a while too, so it's great to finally round out that set and have Thrawn as well. So he just looks really, really cool. I'm really stoked. I got him for only $5. And last but not least, I got Clone Wars Commander Bly. I got this for $15, which most of you know probably on eBay. He just goes for so much money. Um, same seller I bought a stack of those figures. I asked him how much he'd do for this one. He gave it to me for $15. Uh, he had the carded Commander Bly for 60 so... I think I got off with a pretty good deal. Great to finally have Bly. I was always, I was always just, I'd given up on trying to find a decent price of for Bly. So it's great to finally have him in my collection. So yeah, that's just about it. That's all well, that is. Everything. Um, me and my girlfriend also got a Lego set, an Ewok Lego set where. Slowly building up a bit of a... Well, we've been bitten by the Lego bug, let's just say that. So, yeah, I'm really absolutely stoked with what I was able to get away with. I think I spent all up just over $100 for all this. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um, I'm going to open up those figures that are still in the box and get them all set up on their respective shelves. And, yeah, hopefully I'll have put some more videos up very, very soon. I'm going to try and get into a review or two it's been a long time um yeah so i'll leave it at that for now I'm nearing on 10 minutes so it's probably long enough anyway guys thank you for watching and i will see you all very soon may the force be with you